Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you the complete guide on how to install any custom ROM on your HTC One M8. As you know, there are plenty of custom ROMs out there that are actually better than what you get out of the box. And the reason is because you get improved speed, performance, longer battery life, removed bloatware, as well as some pleasing visual tweaks. Now the good news is, no matter which custom ROM you choose, the installation process is virtually identical. So in today's video, I will grab a random custom ROM and simply install it on my HTC One M8. And then you can duplicate the process for your own choice of a custom ROM. Now before we dive in though, there are three requirements that you have to meet. Okay, number one, you must have an unlocked bootloader on your HTC One M8. Number two, you must have a custom recovery such as TWRP on your HTC One M8. And number three is not a 100% requirement, but I highly recommend it that you have a rooted HTC One M8. If you do not meet those requirements, go and watch my crystal clear step-by-step -step root and unlock your HTC One M8 video for which I will leave a link in the description below. After you're done, I want you to come back here so we can dive right in. Now before we truly dive in, I want you to do a full system backup of your phone in its current state. This is only an optional step, but I highly recommend it. A full system backup will back up your entire phone, including all the pictures, movies, music, text messages, apps, phone call logs, and such. It's a good thing to create a backup just in case you want to come back to your original setup or if something goes wrong. Now to learn how to make a complete backup, watch my backup and restore your Android smartphone video for which I will also leave a link in the description below. So let's uh, get started. All right, so the first step is to go and grab the actual custom ROM that you wanna install on your phone. So if you go to my website post for which I will leave a link in the description below, under required files to download, I chose to provide the Viper custom ROM, which is supposed to be a fantastic ROM. Now you can go and you can download any custom ROM that you want. Remember that. I'm just going to use this one for this example, but the process is going to be identical for any other ROM. So let's click Viper custom ROM. It's going to take you to this website post, XDA developers. If you scroll down to the second post, you're going to find their downloads section. And then just click the main link over here. Then click begin download. And after 10 seconds, it's going to give you a mirror so you can download the entire ROM, which is 1.4 gigabytes. Now I do want to let you know that the only file that you need to download is the custom ROM for this procedure. So that is the good news. We're going to switch over to my phone right after the next step. Now make sure you connect your phone to your PC using a micro USB cable. And here's the next step. So here's the Viper 1 ROM that I just downloaded. Okay. Now make sure your phone is connected to your PC. Go into your My Computer and look for your HTC One M8 and you can either go to your internal storage or your SD card if you have one. I'm just going to do the internal storage since I have a lot of free space. So go to the internal storage and just grab this Viper 1 ROM and drag and drop it or copy or paste it over to your internal storage of your HTC One M8. And once the file has been completed to copy over, Disconnect your phone and get rid of your computer. We're going to switch over to my phone to complete the process. I'm going to show you step by step what to do. All right, so on your phone, the first thing I want you to do is go to your Google App Store, the Play Store. And what we're going to do is we're going to download a simple to use app called Goo Manager. That's G O O Manager. It's right there. Tap it make sure to install it and once installed launch the app go ahead and launch it and once it's launched all you want to do is you want to make sure you press reboot to recovery the button in the middle that I'm pointing to so tap it and then say yes this is going to save us to physically press buttons on the phone to go into the fast boot mode 
and then into recovery this takes you directly into recovery with the tap of a button alrighty now the first step before you install any custom ROM is to wipe the existing ROM off of your phone so your first step is going to be to wipe your existing ROM out of the way so tap that wipe button and simply swipe to factory reset this is going to delete whatever is on your phone right now and this is usually a very fairly quick process okay so once you have done that we just reorient the phone tap on back tap on back one more time and now we can go ahead and we can install the custom ROM so go ahead and tap that install button and then make sure you choose your internal storage because that is where I put my um, wiper ROM and then at the bottom here you scroll down at the bottom there you see the wiper ROM that I dragged and dropped from my PC tap it and then simply swipe to confirm flash which is going to start the installation process now most custom ROMs have their custom installers like this guy so it's gonna launch its own custom installation software and all you want to do is follow the instructions tap next it says please check the agreement so make sure you agree to the terms then press next press next one more time and then on the top choose install wiper one and then I do a wipe data anyway even though we just wiped it we'll do it anyway next and then um, it gives you the option to pick from a pre-configured configuration. I'm just going to pick the wiper with the maximum options available. And then I'm going to just press next. This is a summary of what I get with my installation. Then I press next one more time. And then I have an AT&T, so I'm going to choose AT&T. If you have anything other than AT&T or T-Mobile, pick default. Alrighty, make sure you pick default if you have Sprint or Verizon or some other carrier. Press next. Press next one more time. And this is going to start the installation process. It could take any, any anywhere from like uh, two to five minutes. So let me fast forward this all the way to the end. Okay, once the installation is complete, you're going to get this message here that says new ROM successfully flashed. Then click next. It says reboot your phone, click finish. It's automatically going to reboot your phone and start off the brand new ROM. And again, this procedure is going to take five minutes perhaps. The first time you launch a brand new ROM, it takes five to ten minutes to load up the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all the way to the initial setup screen so you don't have to waste ten minutes watching this whole crap okay so we're almost done here and here's the initial setup screen so just click start and I'm just gonna skip everything right now just pick my carrier to be AT&T and then click next and everything else I'm just gonna next it next cancel uh, more it's a little tricky remind me later click next skip next finish alrighty so here's the Viper ROM it is based off of HTC Sense 6.0 so on the surface it's gonna look the same except that you have a lot of uh, tweaking options let me just get rid of all this stuff just say yes alrighty so this is the Viper ROM let's go into the settings and show you some of the things you can do so first of all immediately you see different things in the status bar you got the weather you've got CPU information you have got the battery meter and then here you have the wiper venom tweaks okay so if I go right in there close that look at all the things I can do here I can change everything on the status bar I can use different launchers where I can choose the background I can change the color of every nook and cranny of my phone using these customization functions I can change my lock screen okay so these are the benefits you get by installing a custom ROM it doesn't have any kind of bloatware it's fast it's efficient and you've got all these tweaks that you can 
use to enhance the, the, the phone, make it more customized to your likes. So enjoy your new ROM. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.